And I was just going, I was just looking at the Bell Majendi Law. Mm -hmm. And that has to do with. It's the difference between sensory and motor neurons. Yeah, okay. It's pretty simple. <laughs> Says you. Well, it's, we've only been learning about it since I don't even know when, like sixth grade science class. So it's class. the sensory nerves and keep up. Like, I, I don't remember anything in science. Are you kidding me? Really? I hate science. <laughs> So you probably hate logical positivism too then. <laughs> What's today, the 31st? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and the time. Okay, I'm just gonna say like 12.15, we started that discussion. Now we're talking about Bell Jendi. There's a huge debate over who came up with the idea first. I remember it. I remember talking about that, and then they just merged it because because yeah. one published it mm -hmm. while the other didn't publish it. But didn't did publish it, it but had time. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So like. The idea is that uh, they went from like paranormal forces dictating our, like, like dictating what happens with our nerves mm -hmm. to uh, they they found out that there's a direct connection between our nerves and our brains and like back down to our motor nerves. Mm -hmm. So they made the assumption there that um, there was something there was some kind of impulse happening between our brains and. I totally just Either marked on this. Either our motor neurons or our sensory but neurons. But it's just for my own brain. <laughs> yeah. Mueller. I have Mesmer and Florence. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as long as it's legible, you do whatever you want. <laughs> if they're just there, it's just thoughts. <laughs> You're like the second to last person I have to meet with. Anyway, okay. So. so that's not that bad. Okay. Um, um, Mueller, Mueller. One second. I just remembered. I, I was supposed to set up an appointment for one, but I didn't actually set it up, so I'm just going to tell them that I did set it up. Can you tell me about Mueller? Mm-hmm. Um, oh, wait. I have more than I thought. <laughs> Doctrine of specific nerve energy. Each sense has their own set of nerves, and no matter how they are stimulated, they will produce specific sense. Mueller, where are you at? See, chapter... I don't, even, I, don't, don't even ask me. Like, I won't be able to tell you. <laughs> some people know, some people don't, so I, it can't I hurt. I don't. I just remember. Okay. Yeah. Mueller, Mueller, Mueller. Mueller. 235. I went too far. Okay. So... Let us see. He expanded the Bell Magendi law. Yeah, I do know that. And what he did was um, he came up with the idea that uh, different sensory nerves had different forms of stimulation, and that um, I don't. It wasn't you. It was someone else who came up with the idea that. Uh, Like each sensory nerve, uh, no matter how it's stimulated, it still produces the same. Like no, that's him. Is it him? Yeah, that was him. Okay. The doctrine of specific nerve energy. That was him. Okay. Yeah, that is him. It, it but no matter how it's stimulated, it'll produce the mm -hmm. same the same sense. Of okay, Helmholtz. 